Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing uh, conic section and this is video lecture number 12. I hope you have already watched part 1, part 11 before watching this part 12. And this is especially a video on problems on hyperbola. So let us discuss some problems on hyperbola. And what are those problems uh, from, we are taking problems, solving problems from exercise uh, 11.4, exercise 11.4 and problem number uh, seven and onward because first six question we had discussed in the previous video so here the questions are given that find the equation of hyperbola question number seven equation of hyperbola which vertices is given which vertices vertices is plus minus two comma zero and okai age okai age plus minus 3 comma 0 so transverse axis clearly uh, since y coordinate is 0 so transverse axis axis age since transverse axis age along x axis along x axis and therefore equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola is hyperbola is equation of hyperbola is uh, x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 with vertices vertices plus minus a comma 0 that is given here plus minus 2 comma 0 and therefore a is equal to 2. Foci is plus minus c comma 0 that is given plus minus 3 comma 0 and therefore c is equal to 3. c is 3, a is 2 and c square is equal to a square plus b square. So b square is equal to c square minus a square that is 9 minus 4 which is 5. And therefore, equation of hyperbola of hyperbola age, hyperbola age, what x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is equal to x square by 4 minus y square by 5 is equal to 1. This is the equation of hyperbola which is equal to, right? I hope you got it. Now the next question, question number eight, find the equation of hyperbola. Find the equation of hyperbola. Hyperbola with uh, find the equation of hyperbola. Whose vertices is hyperbola? Whose vertices is whose vertices is given as 0 comma plus minus 5 and okai is, okai is 0 comma plus minus 8. Since okai lies on, so, so for solution we can write here, since okai lies on, okai lies on y axis that is transverse axis is along y axis transverse axis is along y axis is along y axis and hence equation of hyperbola age equation of hyperbola hyperbola age y square by b square y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1 with vertex which goes vertex age goes vertex age goes vertex age vertex age uh, 0 comma plus minus a that is given here 0 comma plus minus 5 and therefore a is equal to 5 and foci is uh, 0 comma plus minus c that is given here 0 comma plus minus 8 
and therefore c equal to 8. Now c is at age 5 and therefore b can be calculated c a square is equal to a square plus b a square and b a square is equal to c a square minus a square that is 8 a square is 64 minus 5 a square is 25 a is 5 now so 5 and 64 minus 25 is nothing else but uh, this is 39 39 right so now equation of hyperbola is therefore equation of hyperbola is x y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1 that is nothing else but uh, here we will write y square by a square a square is nothing else but 25 and x square upon b square is 39 is equal to 1 that will be answer of this question now the next question question number 9 find the equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola hyperbola which vertices is 0 comma plus minus 3 vertices is 0 comma plus minus 3 and Okai is 0 comma plus minus 5. Okai is 0 comma plus minus 5. Again here we can write the solutions like uh, since transverse axis transverse axis is along y axis along y axis since foci lie on it since foci lies on it lies on it and therefore equation of hyperbola will be equation of hyperbola is equation of hyperbola is hyperbola is x y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to y. This is first equation. Now, a uh, foci is where foci is plus 0 comma plus minus c that is 0 comma plus minus 5 and therefore which implies c is equal to 5. Vertices is vertices is 0 comma plus minus a that is 0 comma plus minus 3 this employee a is equal to 3. Now b a square is equal to c a square minus a square b a square is equal to c a square minus a square 25 minus 9 is 16 and therefore equation of hyperbola is putting the value of a square and b square equation of hyperbola is y a square by a square a square is 9 minus x a square by b a square that is 16 is equal to 1 this will be the required equation of hyperbola. Now we have another questions of uh, this category like uh, question number 10 and question number 10 is find the equation of hyperbola. Find the equation of hyperbola with foci which foci is foci is 0 plus minus 5 comma 0 plus minus 5 comma 0 0 and the transverse axis of length and transverse axis of length 8 length 8 transverse axis of length 8 length 8 Right now. So this will be answered. Now, how to deal with this? Transverse axis is lie along x axis because foci lies on it. Since transverse axis axis is 
along x axis is along x axis and therefore length of transverse axis length of transverse axis transverse axis that is 2a which is 8 and therefore a is equal to 4 foci is plus minus c comma 0 that is given here plus minus 5 comma 0 and therefore c is equal to 5 therefore b square is equal to c square minus a square which is 25 minus 16 is equal to 9 and therefore parabola is equation of parabola is equation of parabola therefore equation of parabola is equation of hyperbola sorry. hyperbola is what x square by a square because focus lies along x axis now so x square by a square that is 16 and y square by b square that is 9 is equal to 1 this is the answer now let us uh, solve question next question and the question is here question number 11 right question number 11 is find the equation of hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola which foci is which foci is which foci is 0 comma plus minus 13 and conjugate axis of length 24 and conjugate axis of length 24 since foci is along y axis y along y axis y axis and then transverse axis transverse axis is along y axis along y axis and conjugate axis conjugate axis is along x axis along x axis so length of transverse axis is 2a and length of conjugate axis is 2b so length of conjugate axis conjugate axis is 2b that is 24 and therefore b is equal to 12 now foci is 0 comma plus minus c foci is 0 comma plus minus c that is 0 comma plus minus 13 is given and therefore c is equal to 13 now a square is c square minus b square so 13 square minus 12 square is 169 into 1 minus 144 is 25 so a square is 25 and therefore equation of hyperbola is hyperbola is is along y axis transverse axis y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1 this employee y square upon a square that is 25 minus x square upon b square that is 144 is equal to 1 this is the which is the answer right okay now the next question is question number 12 find the equation of hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola which foci is foci is 0 comma plus minus 5 foci is not like this plus minus 3 root 5 comma 0 plus minus 3 root 5 comma 0 and lattice length of lattice rectum of length 8 and lattice rectum of length 8 this is the 2 
clue I are given and we have to deal with this question so we can write solution here uh, foci is along x axis since foci is along x axis is along x axis x axis and therefore foci is plus minus c comma 0 which is given as plus minus 3 root 5 comma 0 and therefore c is equal to therefore c is equal to 3 root 5 and c square is equal to 9 5 ja 45 okay now uh, this is given as c square is equal to c is nothing here length of lattice rectum also length of lattice rectum lattice rectum is 2b square upon a that is what given that is 8 given so b square is equal to 4a right this is second now we know c square is equal to c square is equal to a square plus b square this implies c square is 45 and a square a j b square is 4a in place of b square i can write 4a so this employee what will happen a square plus 4a minus 45 is equal to 0 this employee a plus 9 and a minus 5 uh, is equal to 0 this employee a is equal to 5 because a is always taken as positive so it cannot be minus 9 and now b square a is 5 and therefore b square is equal to 4a b square is equal to 4a that is 4 into 5 is 20 right now 4 5 is 20 and therefore equation of hyperbola age hyperbola age what will happen equation of hyperbola age because foci lying along x axis now so x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 minus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is equal to nothing else but x square which implies x square by 25 minus y square is equal to 20 is equal to 1 that will be answer now let us solve question number 13 and question number 13 is here that uh, find the equation of hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola hyperbola with fo foci which foci is foci is plus minus 4 comma 0 and length of lattice rectum is 12 and length of lattice rectum lattice rectum is 12 so we have solutions like here that uh, since foci foci is on x axis and therefore foci plus minus c comma 0 e that is plus minus 4 comma 0 and therefore c is equal to 4 length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum age length of lattice rectum age rectum age 2b square upon a that is 12 so b square is equal to 6a now c square is equal to a square plus b square that is c square is 16 and a square b square plus is equal to 6a so we can write it a square plus 6a minus 16 is equal to 0 that can be written as a plus 8 and a minus 2 is equal to 0 
which gives a is equal to 2 because it cannot be minus a is distance so distance cannot be negative now a is 2 and therefore b square is equal to 6a that is 6 into 2 that is 12 so a is 2 and b square is 12 and focus is along x axis so equation of equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola hyperbola is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is what x square by a square a square is 4 2 square is 4 y square by b square b square is 12 which will do 1 that will be the answer of this question now question number 14 so we can have question number 14 find the equation of find the equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola which multisage is multisage is plus minus 7 comma 0 and eccentricity is 4 by 3 this is given now uh, since focus since vertices is on x axis therefore plus minus a comma 0 is equal to plus minus 7 comma 0 this employee a is equal to 7 now e is equal to c by a e is equal to c by a that is 4 by 3 is equal to c upon 7 so c is equal to 28 by 3 right and now b square is equal to or even we can write without doing this e square is equal to 1 plus b square by a square like that so what will happen that will be 16 by 9 is equal to 1 plus b square upon 49 so what will happen b square upon 49 is equal to 6 7 by 9 and that can be written as b square is equal to 343 one can come this side it will be 9 7 by 9 so b multi b square is 49 multiply with 3 is 343 upon 9 so equation of ellipse age equation of ellipse equation of hyperbola age sorry. equation of hyperbola age since focus is along x axis na? focus is along x axis so x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 this employee x square by a square and a is 7 so 7 square is 49 minus y square is b square that is 343 upon 9 so 9 will come in numerator is equal to 1 now if i do calcium then what will happen this employee 343 will be lcm so 7x square minus 9y square is equal to 343 this is the required equation now one more question that is question number 15 and what is that find the equation of hyperbola find the equation of hyperbola hyperbola which your foci is which foci is 0 comma plus minus root 10 and passes through and passing is through to 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 equation of hyperbola which foci is 0 comma plus minus since foci is along y axis since foci is along y axis along y axis therefore equation of hyperbola age hyperbola age 
y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1. At focus, focai is focai 0 comma plus minus c. That is given 0 comma plus minus root 10. So this employee c is equal to root 10 and c square is equal to 10. Now, uh, since it passes through, since passes through, it passes through, since hyperbola passes through, hyperbola passes through, passes through 2 comma 3 and satisfy 1 and satisfy equation. Equation, it means in place of y we can put 3 that is 9 by a square therefore 9 by a square minus x square by b square that is x square by 4 so 4 by b square that is 4 by b square is equal to 1 and here 9 b square One and therefore nine b square therefore we can write nine by a square is equal to one plus four by b square. Right? So what will happen? Also c square is equal to a square plus b square that is a square plus b square is equal to c square is 10 and therefore b square is equal to 10 minus a square from second and therefore from second 9 by what is that second 9 by a square 9 by a square is equal to 1 plus 4 by what is that 4 by b square and b square is 10 minus a square 10 minus a square is equal to this is nothing else but like this so here what will happen again if i will take this lcm 9 by a square is equal to 10 minus a square plus 4 divided by 10 minus a square or we can multiply this 90 minus 9 a square is equal to 10 plus 4 14 a square minus a square whole square isn't it that will happen so this can be written as a square whole square and 14 minus 14 minus 9 is minus 23 a square plus 90 is equal to 0 so clearly i can make a factor between 5 jar 19. So that will be a square minus 18 and a square minus 5 is equal to 0. So either a square is 18 or a square is equal to 5. Both are positive. So we can take it like this a square 18 and a square 5. So when a square is equal to 5, b square is equal to c square minus a square that is 10 minus 5 and that is what 5 so b square is also 5 and then equation of hyperbola equation of hyperbola will be hyperbola is x square by x square by equation of hyperbola is y square by a square minus x square by b square y square by a square y square by a square that is 5 and x square by b square y square by a square and uh, x square by b square is equal to 1 that is y square by 5 minus x square by 5 is equal to 1 so y square minus x square is equal to 5 this is the answer this is called equilateral hyper now the next thing is when a square is equal to 18 then b square is equal to c square minus a square 
that is 10 minus 18 which is uh, minus 8 b square is minus 8 which is not possible which is because b will be imaginary b square cannot be which is less than 0 so which is not possible so only possibility is the equation of uh, hyperbola is y square minus x square is equal to 5 so that will be answered so therefore the only possible hyperbola therefore the only possible hyperbola only possibility possible hyperbola is bola is y square minus x square is equal to 5 that becomes so this is all about hyperbola i hope you understood understood this and you will practice them and with the basics that is all about uh, hyperbola up to class 11th and uh, for j and i d advance there will be separate class for this now in next lecture we will discuss about uh, miscellaneous question till then keep watching god bless